into today's episode, let's hear a quick word about our sponsor. In today's fast-paced world, having the right connection is more important than ever. Whether it's a personal relationship, a business partnership, or a mechanical fastener, the right connection can make all the difference. When it comes to mechanical fasteners, a weak or unreliable connection can lead to costly downtime, safety hazards, and even catastrophic failure. Stay Fast Products Inc. understands the importance of the right connection. That's why they offer a wide range of fastening solutions that are designed to provide the strength, durability, and reliability that you need. So don't settle for a weak or unreliable connection. Choose the right fastener for the job, the right people for your life, and experience the peace of mind that comes with knowing that your connections are strong and secure. So don't settle for a weak or unreliable connection. Choose the right fastener for the job, the right people for your life, and experience the peace of mind that comes with knowing that your connections are strong and secure. Stafe has privilege to serve their customers with the right connection. Welcome to the Mutual Friend Podcast. I am Gabe. I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Dre. I'm Gabby. And today... <laughs> Why didn't you just move it out your way? <laughs> Good work, Dre. I got the crowd clapping for you. We got him. We will not be doing videos like Adam 22. Oh, shoot. You're ready. Already. Bring it closer, please. It is fun. Yeah, right there. A little closer, maybe. Oh, you said a little closer. Yeah. This good? <sighs> and today, we are talking about a lot of stuff, I believe. So who wants to kick it off first? We turning it up, huh? What does that say? <laughs> did you write that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. That's a you yeah, topic. First. That's a you it's topic. My, it's my yes. question though. Okay. Um, I don't know why I touched that. I have a question. Um, what is a conspiracy theory that you like most believe is true? I feel mm. like Gabe, you would love this question. Mm. <laughs> I most believe is true. Let's see here. I'd probably say the moon landing in 69. I feel like it was on a, on a stage set. Big facts. Probably that one. Because first off, I'm just using logic of today, not not looking, no research or nothing. I'm just thinking, hmm. They broadcasted a feed live to the world in 1969. I don't know if that's the year, but I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure. <laughs> that didn't happen. And... It was a live stream to the whole world and no like connection issues, no network issues. I'll be lagging on Xbox sometimes. No, it's facts. I'll be dropping phone calls now. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me it was just nice and dandy on the moon? That's just a red flag off jump. And from there, the rabbit hole continues. Speaking of red flag, <laughs> the flag, are we using this as like a talking I thought stick? that's what we were doing. I just wanted to play catch before we started. Oh. And then, like, I thought it was a talking stick. No. <laughs> I thought that was going to help her, like, stay No, a, a part of good podcasting is interrupting each other. Okay. So we have to do that. But uh, another red flag, the flag mm -hmm. was blowing in the wind. There ain't no dang wind. In space. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. The thing is, like, oh, we're, we're doing this. The thing is, see that? See that texting catch right there? Anyway. Okay. Um... Like, I'm sure some scientist person has tried to explain why it's blowing. They're going to say, Just like oh, it wasn't wind, it was gravity. Or, I, I don't know what they're going to say. But I also agree. Like, how in the world is there wind on the moon? Too many things in that don't make sense. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. But, like you just said, my biggest conspiracy theory that I think is true, 9-11... It happened, for sure. People did die, and that's very sad. But I feel like the world governments were behind that thing, and they set it up 
on purpose. But look, here's why. All of our privacy, gone. They had the Patriot Act. Even the name just sounds terrible. Patriot Act. To basically monitor us all the time. I feel like they used that to get that off. And it hmm. worked. The Mandela Effect. Mm. Time travel. Because uh, it was never Bernstein. It was the Bernstein Bears, was it not? Bernstein, yeah. And then and then somebody went back in time and changed it. And But with time travel, if someone... Oh, shoot. Nice. If someone like went back in time and changed an event, doesn't that change the memory of us because it never happened that way? That's that's the Mandela effect. Like we have the vague memory, but the tangible proof mm. has been erased from existence because the timeline's been altered. It was Berenstein. But okay, I well, know it was. Now I don't believe in time travel, but if it did exist, wouldn't that mean that like, if time travel did exist? Wouldn't that mean, well, would it mean like the one timeline got changed or like in Avengers when like it created separate timelines? You know what I'm saying? The like multiverse? does it change just one timeline or does it make a branch timeline? So does that mean the multiverse could happen? I'm not getting to that. I'm just talking about time travel. Like does time travel create a new timeline or does it just alter the original? New timeline. Never been. I feel like maybe new timeline. Which is how the Bernstein thing happens. Bernstein. Bear. See? Okay. <laughs> Gabe. My thoughts on this? I'm just playing catch. Like, if I pass you the ball, it doesn't mean I'm expecting you to talk. I'm just playing catch. I do think it was the Bernstein Bears, though. And there's something else that was like that. I can't think of it right now. There but was, there was like there was a more. bunch of them. It was more. But was it the thing with the rabbits? You know that show? Oh, that, tricks. Yeah, was that one of them? Maybe. I don't know. The like, tricks are for kids. Fruit, fruit Loops. What was up with Fruit Loops? It's it's not fruit like actual fruit. It's oh, fruit F-R-O-O. with two O's. Well, I always thought that that's what it was because on the box it has the little Fruit Loops on it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Oh, wait, wait. This is a good question. If you could time travel. <laughs> oh, the Greco Roman. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pre All right. Greco Roman era. Do we want to say what we thought his was going to be? Or oh, not we, you. Oh. I thought you were going to talk about the earth being flat. It's a possibility. I've never been to space, so I don't know for sure. I know what I've been told my whole life, and I feel like if you're told something your whole life, you will believe it's true inherently. And if you're told the truth at a later stage in life, then it could change a lot of things, but you still don't know, and ultimately it doesn't matter. But I think it could go either way. But that one I'm not as confident in as the moon. Yeah, I think I think the Earth is round. However, I would not be surprised if it was flat. But I think it's round. Or if there is no space. I think I've said this a lot. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's a chance that there could actually not be space. There's a chance. Just make it up. But who knows? Only fact, God knows. I believe more in like alternate dimensions and stuff more than I believe in space. Like portals? Yeah. In fact, I'm almost certain that that exists. Portals? Like, other dimension stuff. Like, they'd be traveling other dimensions. Like, you know how they've been saying how they, like, admitted there's aliens or something? Mm-hmm. Bro, I feel like it's, they've opened up portals to other dimensions and stuff. And if that's even true, and, like, there's just, like, some beings that have come through from other dimensions. You know, they, uh, you never heard of CERN? Yeah, I heard of CERN. Like, that big, like, world engine thing? Yeah, that's in Switzerland, of all places. Yeah. yeah. I heard that uh, they, like, 
they turned it on in like January and the they said collider drawn or whatever. Yeah, and they said that was gonna give everybody superpowers. I didn't get mine, so that kind of sucks. Everybody. I got mine. What'd you get? Mm. <laughs> no, I got powers now. I could. I, they just ain't unlock yet. So that could happen. But they said like maybe that opened the portal. We don't know. Y'all think there's portals in the ocean and some of them sea creatures are just aliens? Well, I don't believe in aliens. So, like, I don't believe in aliens as far as, like, intelligent life from other planets. But I also am not certain that there are other planets, like, that have life like that. I feel like, like I said, it's going to be, like, interdimensional creatures, like, demons and stuff. So you think... I think that, too. You think octopus is from here? It might not be crazy looking drones. Some of them drones can change. Well, he's like God's very creative though, so it's true. Very true. It could. I mean, all that stuff could be on Earth. We just haven't like discovered it yet. You know, we haven't like discovered like ninety percent of the ocean. True. So like so much down there we don't know. Like portals. Mm -hmm. I saw a video once of like a sea under the sea. Like it was a school lagoon. It was like a thicker. That happens. It was like a thicker jello like sea. Like a w body of water under the water. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Also, also, space. Uh, thinking about it, like, I'm curious as to why the Bible doesn't mention, you know, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. Why, where there's no mention of Neptune, Saturn, all these other planets, Mercury. I mean, because the sun, moon, and the stars is, like, important space. to us. And it could just be, like, that could just be referring to space. Like, he made stuff other than Earth. Mm -hmm. Or it could just be all them other planets don't do anything to Earth. So, like, it doesn't really matter if they even exist. That's what I'm saying. Do they even exist? Yeah. Space? Is space real? Talk. Well, that's what I said earlier. I don't know. That's why, that's why I brought it but back I, up. But I don't think it, like, I don't have any reason to believe that space isn't real. But I also don't have any reason to believe that space is real. It's just one of those questions. So, I don't know. But also, with the portals thing, I feel like the only portals there are are man-made portals. Like, intentionally open portals. Mm. Through seances mm. and other stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. For sure. Folks be doing that and probably really be opening portals to other dimensions and talking to demons and stuff. Facts. That's facts. Like y'all seen that y'all seen that video of Juice World? No. No. The sand on the beach, he had a little Pentagon thing on there with fire. No. But that makes sense. That reads. Mm hmm So y'all don't just to wrap on this, y'all don't think there's no portals in the water? There could be if people made them. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of things in the water, uh I want to touch on this. Battle of Montgomery, the uh, Alabama Sweet Tea Party, if you will. Uh, Gabby has not seen it, so we're going to get you briefed real quick. So for anybody who doesn't know, there was a conflict at the dock. There was a boat, like a privately owned boat, by a couple Caucasian Americans, and a larger boat ironically called the Harriet, with uh, some African-American captains needed to come dock. And the privately owned vessel was in the way. And they wouldn't move it. And so there was a, a bit of a, a disagreement and a physical confrontation, <laughs> which was hilarious. <laughs> and now we're about to, we're about to watch it. They're like, I'm gonna call the manager. <laughs> All right, what do we think? I think that this uh, was a great day for victory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. 
that just inspired me to uh, get in the gym more because the there's no way I would have been able to swim across that joint, body slam somebody, and let them jabs go that quick, bro. Did you see it? Aquaman. 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 Yeah, man. That I mean, I feel like that was a uh, that was kind of a uh, one of them. I'm tired of this. You know, like. <laughs> You know the, the picture of the Popeyes lady? After she's given her all. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? See? See? Um, now they know. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys seen the movie Daddy's Little Girls? No. It's a classic Tyler Perry movie. Highly recommend. It's just over. Gabriella Union. Anyways, it's about this guy who has three daughters. And he's sharing them with his ex who is also now together with the community drug dealer and at the end of the movie monty idris elba crashes into the drug dealer's car and beats the snot out of him with everybody in the community coming out to help i might have seen this great movie uh it sounds familiar now and you know when they went to the courthouse everybody in the community said nothing but then snitched on the drug dealer, and it was a sight to see the community coming together. But that's what that reminded me of. They just retired. They had enough. Now, y'all know, they ain't about to just take this L sitting down, though. Mm -mm. Election year's coming up. That boy Trump is running again. They might be cooking up the the sequel to that... Uh, January 6th? Not the sequel. Talking about try that in a small town? About to pull up. <laughs> we, we gotta pull up like Anakin and the clones up to the Jedi Temple. Never seen it. Be, you get it though. You see the picture I'm talking about. Oh. Black people just be prepared because you know you know they don't like to lose now. Them folks don't like to lose. We just gotta be, gotta be ready. Can we, can we continue the conversation we had in the car about the history books, like the sure. things that they, <laughs> they put in the books that don't matter. Yeah. Tell the audience. So when we were talking about the the Alabama sweet tea party, I was like, you know what? When them when them folks was writing all the history, they were documenting some stuff that did not matter. Like, why did they pour tea in the water and then just decide that that was fire and that it needed to be documented? Talking about no taxation without representation, and we still don't have our representation. Mm. Come on. And what else they did? George Washington's teeth, like. Why do we have to know about that? Look what y'all was look what y'all was taking account of. Who cares? Mm -hmm. You know, I always like the cherry tree story though. The cherry tree story. <laughs> Wait, was it a cherry tree or an apple tree? It was a cherry and tree. And was it Abraham was Lincoln or really George Washington? <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> oh, you gotta talk about that person that I don't think existed. The airplane oh, person? Oh, no. I didn't get to answer my first question. I feel like Helen Keller did not do all that we say she did. Because this girl was deaf and blind. Why are you hating on the deaf and blind girl? I'm, not, uh, I'm like, listening. Did she fly a plane? Like, people say crazy stuff about her. Like, I don't understand. Like, if you're deaf and blind, like, how can you even know how to communicate? The Lord. <laughs> Won't he do it? God did. God did. I didn't. I never knew that the plane thing. I don't know, but like she wrote a book. How do you write a book? <laughs> no, that's serious.
I I know. I know for a fact, bro. Uh, somebody else. I don't know. What else she did? I'm about to look up a list. <laughs> Life accomplishments. No, but seriously. Like, you're right. How can she even know how to talk if she's never heard anything? She can't see words. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she did. All right, here, here's here's some here's a list of things. Okay, wait, no, wrong list. Wait, come back to me, actually. Oh man, I think I don't know much about Helen Keller. I don't remember what she did other than be blind and deaf. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not big on history or school, so no. But how does she do anything? Is is that offensive? I don't care. I don't it's, know. I mean, like, how'd she do anything? She died in 1999. Wait. Oh, what? She didn't live. Wait, never mind. Never mind she wasn't really alive. <laughs> she didn't live. <laughs> she wasn't really alive. <laughs> There's no way she didn't, she didn't exist. Oh, that was so bad. Gabe, run it back. That's crazy, Gabe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he reduced himself. What else do we say she did? Did you get it? Yeah. Or? Uh, she graduated high school. She was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. For what? For the rights of blind and disabled. Shout out to the disabled community, man. Like, I don't like y'all talking about how did she do anything. Like, they can she, do things. Yo, she yo, can't once hear or see. Once, how can she know how to talk? Once now? Helen Keller performed a twenty-minute show where she told her life story in her own words. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hey, hey, have you ever seen Major Pain? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she died in 1968. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something, something that she. See, uh, nothing, she didn't do anything. The history is wrong. Her name is Signature. Appeared. How's she even like that? Oh, the 1999 issue of Times Magazine. That's what I was reading. <laughs> Doing a speech in Braille is crazy. <laughs> but how did she do Braille? She didn't know what words were. Wait, they had Q&A sessions. <laughs> she no. heard the question. Hell is hot. I'm, I'm just letting you. You will be <laughs> after <laughs> talking about Helen Keller. No. Can we transition? Who wrote? Who wrote Fitness? Me. Talk about it. Jeez. So, um, <sighs> as we talked about in the very, well, not the very first, it was actually the test episode for season three. I was talking about how uh, I wanted to mentally and physically get my fitness together, right? And uh, Big Dunk has been doing a great job in helping me mentally prepare for all that the gym does because it's more than just a physical transformation, but it's a whole lifestyle transformation. And uh, I feel very encouraged because today, while we were getting food, I really wanted some pancakes, mm. some hash browns. And then I was bullied into not getting that because it wouldn't be mm. good for me. Bullied. So I didn't. No, but in a good way, like encouraged me, you know. And I got a chicken wrap with all sorts of healthiness in it, and it was very, very good. It was. So I'm inspired. I'm excited to go to the gym tomorrow and get that work in. And yeah, fitness is important. That's all I want to say. I like it. Yeah. I, um, my man, his his page is called Muscle and Motivate, which is one. I like it because it's a play on words of hustle and motivate, which is a Nipsey Hustle song, who I am a great fan of. But the guy that runs the page, Muscle and Motivate, he does, like, all these, like, he's, like, a trainer. He does, like, all these clips of him, like, doing fitness stuff. But while he's doing it, he's talking about, like, spiritual stuff, faith-related stuff. I sent a clip to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's just awesome. And that's kind of where the direction I want to go in with, like, what I'm doing for myself. I kind of want to make content like that because I feel like, those two things are very important to me. So, yeah, that was very inspirational to me. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my goal is to get my diet together 
So that way, you know, because uh, right eating is like a huge part of it. It is. Uh, your whole fitness. And of course, making it a discipline to actually get in the gym more. So um, consistently, not even more, just just consistently. And uh, I'm excited for it, you know, because I want to be a unit. So you going to be absolutely you yeah, going to be so Gabby Gabe shout out to my boy T we've been hitting the gym back on it he's going to be coming tonight also shout oh, out bet. T big burn down. I don't go to the gym but I like almost daily other than maybe on the weekends I like go on walks but not just like strolls like it, it, it's brisk you know, Bridge. walk fast so like mm. you actually do something. Cause the running, like mentally, I feel like running would be so fun, but physically, like my body cannot handle that. Like my my joints, not with it. So we walk, and it's like really great for like my body and like I feel so much better like mentally. It just makes my whole day better when I go for walks. And your diet is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're you're big on uh, like. Food being like the fuel. fuel, yeah. Talk about that a lot. The thing about physical fitness that I am concerned with for my two brothers here is sleep is very important, mm. and y'all don't be getting any. Yeah. And I will continue to try to encourage you guys to get some well rest so mm. that you can be at your best. Because sleep affects a lot of things. It's necessary. Why did you do that? Do what? I don't know what you just did. Are you offering a solution? Yeah. No, I was going to say sleep lowers your sperm count. So do it for the kids. (laughs) What? I mean, no, I mean not getting sleep. Like, not getting enough sleep. Re-say the whole thing. I'm going to say it. Wait, what do you say? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Not getting sleep. Yeah, yeah. Lack of sleep leads to lower sperm count. So think about that. We could cut that out. No, it's staying in. I'm just saying. (laughs) I mean, mean, that's important. Yeah. You need it. Sleep is important. Your body has to recover. Yeah, that too. (laughs) That too. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Zuckerberg? This is you. So. A showdown has been finalized between two billionaires on Earth. Supposedly, the rumor is in the Roman Colosseum. No. Dead serious. Oh, I saw that. <clears throat> that's what's happening. So, who do you guys got winning? And what do you think they're trying to distract us from? <laughs> that's a good question. Great question. Um, I got Mark, because I'm pretty sure he's not fully human. Hmm. So, oh. Also, Elon doesn't look like he's in great shape. Mark looks like he's like lean. A little Let bit. me take a look at these folks, bro. Because Elon looked like he got a glass jaw. <laughs> Let me just double check, though. Oh, Zuck got a glass jaw, too. They both got glass jaws. Oh, I got Zuck. I got Zuck for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. I got Zuck. Zuck look like he in there with them killers right now. He, mm-hmm. Yeah, see? I and then this Zuck. is uh, boy Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Here they go, audience. I got Zuck, yo. It's Oh, well, not. Let me see. Zuck, Zuck look like he can move and, and punch. Elon don't, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, Elon got that Patrick Star bill, bro. No, Patrick Star was getting buckets. Never would have made it. Never would have made it. (laughs) That boy looking like the penguin from Batman. (laughs) 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 Oh, Oh, man. No, see, he just got like a mad punchable face, too. (laughs) It's up for him. I got Zuck, bro. TKO. It would be interesting. Should do a watch party. Yeah. That'd be so funny. I'm down. When is this supposed to happen? I don't know. Sometime within the next year. I hope it's a real fight. Like, I hope they actually try to like fight. 
and it's not like fake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark is he's getting ready. I got that. But what do you think they're trying to distract us from? I don't know. Maybe uh, more alien stuff. What do you say? Maybe more alien stuff. I was going to say more weather changing things. You know, maybe they're working on that environmental science. I don't know. I'm thinking AI related things. No, that makes sense. Let's talk about it. More chips. More chips. More salsa. Is the new chip, is the chip we fear coming? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a chip. Actually, I doubt it's a chip, honestly. What do you think it is? Elon's got the chip cooking up already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not, well, let me, let me, let me be more specific. You're talking about the Mark of the Beast? Mm-hmm. I don't think the Mark of the Beast is going to be something that is, like, physical. I think, I think it's, it's figurative. Figurative? Because I've heard this. most of the things in there are allegorical. And most of the stuff in the Bible that's like that is allegorical. So I think it's more of a figurative thing. Not saying that the, that the chip or whatever is going to be a good thing. I think that's a bad thing either way. I don't know if I would say it's like the mark. But we'll be able to tell. I feel like people now with the tap to pay and whatnot, some people got on the watch and stuff. And with the... Uh, what are the goggles called? The Apple joints? Oh, I don't know. Um, I know what you're talking about, though. The augmented reality joints. I just feel like they're going to make a condensed version of that. That's going to be like glasses, so it's more easy. And like, as they keep making things smaller and more convenient, I feel like they're going to make a chip so that everything can already be like internal. Like, mm. You can have all your apps and stuff. Like, just in your brain. That's crazy. You can be able to make payments for stuff just without having the watch or the phone or any card, you know. And then they can <laughs> attach a social credit system to that. You know, they already do that in, like, China. Yeah. They already have social I've credit. seen a video of a woman paying something with her hand. Mm. And you know they're banning cash in certain countries now. And they did that during COVID because it was unhealthy. Exactly. Allegedly. That was the... uh the start to ramp us into the process. Mm-hmm. So, I think eventually there's going to be a chip and it's just going to have all the things. Like, we won't need to carry a phone or a wallet or keys even mm-hmm. to our house or car. <coughs> we can just have it, like, all here or here. So what does that have to do with AI, though? I think it's going to be integrated. Mm. That way, in things like the multiverse, like, digital entities, like, we'll be able to just interact with them. And, like... In reality, where it's, like, hardware for AI to, like, do stuff for us, like, we'll just be able to integrate with them so much more easily. Now, on a positive note, I think it'd be super cool to have, like, your own, like, Jarvis from Iron Man to, like, do stuff for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, AI, I need you to prep my meals and (laughs) just do it in the fridge for you because it's connected. Or, like, in Star Wars with the droids, they, like, do stuff for you. I think that'd be cool. Have you seen... (coughs) (laughs) Have you seen this Netflix movie? Good. Have you seen this... (laughs) Execute order 66. (laughs) They do that in the restaurants, though. Probably. When the AI is in the restaurants, you, on your menu, order 66, and you just tell AI. Sorry. What are you saying? Go ahead. What are you talking about? Star Wars. Oh. Uh, have you seen this movie called Mitchells vs. Machines on Netflix? No. No, I don't have Netflix. Where, how do you be watching all these movies? I watched it with Julia the other day. Oh. Yeah, facts. Turn the TV off, go to sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is what happens in the movie. There's this personal assistant called Pal who gets discarded for these AI, like, robots to help human beings. And this AI is so upset about it by his creator that he... Or she, whatever, whatever the AI is, the AI, they. whatever the AI is, it takes over all of these robots and rounds up humans to delete them. And this one family saves the whole universe. Great, great. It's like an animation, like family movie. Great watch. No, I feel like my mindset, like when it comes to like AI and the future. 
and all that stuff. And all that stuff. I have, like, a bit of a skepticism. So I'd be thinking of, like, the negatives. But, like, the other day I heard someone say, like, talking about, like, the positives that could come from it. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, Terminator, even though I think it will. Like, I feel like we ruin everything. Like, so Mm -hmm. somebody's going to mess something up. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about how, like, people who are, like, lonely and depressed, like Trace maybe, uh, they could have, like, AI friends nah bad keep, idea that's gonna make it company. worse and they're not gonna be able to interact with real human beings they should just learn how to get friends having an ai friend no terrible that's not positive at all <laughs> just shit on my own <laughs> no no i no look i i love i love you trying to be positive and like I, there's lots of great positives i don't agree with this oh. i didn't even get to that part gang dang you sounded like that was positive no i'm just saying other people have a positive outlook on it i just told you i don't i'm skeptical i think it's all bad good i think we're going to destroy the world okay but what other positive things they have I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen Free Guy? Nah. No, but I know of the concept and whatnot. Basically, it's like this AI in a game gets, uh, it starts to becoming more alive as someone who created a game tries to get back the game from this evil person. The moral of the story is, the in the end, a game of AIs is being watched by other people and that's the game so people will go on to this game just to interact with other ais uh how much time do we have before the meeting five minutes did anybody hit you up saying they were here no let's just keep going i told them to text the group when they get here all right um and if they do get here i'm gonna go keep recording right. um kind of coming off conspiracy and whatnot, the weather machine, I want to talk about real quick. So, allegedly, there's a device that can control the weather, like, target specific locations and, like, alter the weather, like, cause signals to, like, make earthquakes or, like, rain and whatnot. And one of the effects of the machine is, like, in the process of causing the weather-based change, it has like these weird electrical disturbances that look like like strange looking lightning. And there was a conspiracy recently because I think it was Turkey didn't want to join NATO and like a bunch of countries that are a part of NATO were not happy about it. And then there was like an earthquake, like not long after that. And there was electrical disturbances before the earthquake that looked like what they say that this device does. Mm. So people are saying that it was intentional. I don't know. I've heard of the earthquake machine that Nikola Tesla made in like the 1890-something. I literally just saw this. He had made the machine, he had set it up, and it went off in his house in New York. Government comes, and nobody's seen the machine since. And that was in 1892, Nikola Tesla. So I'm sure they took his research and made it a hundred times bigger, and it's highly possible. Yeah, I think it makes sense because, like, don't we scientifically like understand how weather works? Like, don't we understand how rain works and like tornadoes and stuff? So I feel like it wouldn't be hard for them to like recreate some of that stuff, you know? So that makes sense. Also, I think global warming is definitely a real thing. But I feel like it's not naturally done. Why are you making that face? Global warming. Is it not hotter? It's hot. It's hotter. You say you feel like it's not natural? Yeah, I don't think it's natural. I, I think it is getting warmer. And, like, the theory, the, like, normal orthodox theory of global warming is that because of, like, all the gases and stuff that we pump in the atmosphere and, like, all the bad stuff that we're doing, it's causing the Earth to, like, warm up, basically, which is bad. Yeah. So, and that's at its, like, its purest, um, like, no conspiracy theories. That's just, like, what the common understanding is, which makes sense. And the reason why, like, a lot of right-wing, Republican-leaning people don't like the idea that global warming is a thing is because that would negate 
a lot of gas and oil companies from making money because the whole idea to stop global warming would be to stop using gas and oil as much as we do. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense for why they would say that it does exist. Aren't there places in the world that like have like arc reactor type stuff where like they figured out sustainable clean energy, but it's just like not available to everyone else for financial reasons? I'm not sure, but that makes sense. Yeah, I think they already like cracked the code on that, but don't want to like make it power everything because then we wouldn't have to buy gas and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Which is goofball activity, yeah. but I think it's definitely real. And and um oh shoot. You're not doing too good at the catching. Well it hit the stand. Mm. Either way. Hmm. I think at at the bare minimum, it's because of all the toxic stuff that we're putting in the air. But at the worst and most conspiracy level thought, um, I th- I think they be manipulating the weather, and now it's messing up the atmosphere. But who knows? My stomach is rumbling right now. It is yeah, hurting. I heard it. It's so bad. You're not used to that protein? That good food. <laughs> Man, good healthy stuff. Uh, Gabe, you what what happened with Maui? I didn't hear about this. Oh, basically, I just wanted to get y'all takes on it because they're like all these like fires and whatnot that's happening in Maui, but some people are saying that it's like targeted attacks to try to like you know stir up commotion. I don't have full details, but Uh-oh. yeah, all I saw was like just pictures of devastation, and I just thought it was sad because like. What can you do? Mm-hmm. A bunch of fires just destroying everything that you have. Just sad. But I wouldn't put it past them if that's what's going on. Yeah, pray for Maui. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know like do what do they have? Like some type of valuable resources, commodities, like what would be the to- uh the reason for attacking Maui? Land. Uh they want I think I think they want to purchase the land that they're like destroying because they wouldn't give it up otherwise uh, do you know who they is in this case I do not hmm. that's interesting I feel like there's a lot there's a lot I feel like especially with the wildfires there's a lot of conspiracies going on like when the uh, Canadian wildfires were happening and like the, ah. the air was all mm-hmm. crazy like folks was talking about we see all this smoke but we ain't seen no fire hmm. interesting point we were at camp, so yeah. But it was kind of cloudy, though, or not cloudy, but um, hazy. It was. But like, did y'all seen like what New York was looking like around that time? I saw the picture. Yeah, it looked it looked bad. It's crazy. We saw more pictures of that than actual fire. Mm-hmm. And, like we have the internet. So what were they doing? So it's like it's somebody over in Canada is like y'all didn't get no pictures. Mm. If there were some and we just didn't see them, then I I take it back. But I mean. I felt like that was weird. Every time I have to go somewhere, and like, not just like to the store, or like to go for a walk, but like every time I have to go, like, I don't know, to church, to hang out with people, to hang out with you, I, at that point, nothing in my wardrobe seems to be what I want to wear. Like, nothing seems like it'll work. And then I'll be like, oh, I'll wear this outfit. And then it, it looks crazy and then everything feels like it doesn't fit or like it doesn't fit right and I go through like all my clothes and it's just like a crazy chaotic experience every time I have to get dressed and I don't know like why that is like I always ask him like before I go anywhere I'm like what should I wear because I can't make the decision for myself or I don't want to maybe I can but yeah, every every single thought that you just expressed I I also have so, you're not alone in that. You are not alone. I'll be here with you. No, nah, but, um, you know, I just feel like you need more staples. Oh, like, staple, But also, you have them. I feel like you just overthink it sometimes. Yeah, that too. I feel like more money would solve <laughs> the problem for me. Because then I could have more pieces. Like right now, the a, a tree fell last night around like two a.m., three a.m. on my street and knocked down like 
some power lines and stuff. So that's why my power went out. Mm. And I washed my clothes Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't wash my clothes. So I had to just pick from what was there. Mm. And like, like somebody, somebody was like wearing a sleeveless to church is crazy. And I was like, well, one, I feel like God doesn't care. But also, uh, couldn't wash my clothes. So yeah. this is all I had for real. Man. Yeah, I don't think it through too much. I just kind of know what I'm going to wear. Yeah, I usually have a vision of, like, the fits I'm trying to put together. And, like, sometimes, like, it doesn't work the way that I want it to, but it's like, hey, I got to back up, you know. I think I'm pretty good with combinations, so. Combination. Combination. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, even with this fit that I'm wearing right now, so I'm wearing uh, Armani. No, I'm kidding. Wait, wait. Sponsor. Anyway, so I'm wearing this little blue shirt. <sighs> Trace? What's up? Are you here? Yeah, but I'll come unlock that. Stand by. Oh, Big Dunk's gonna do it actually. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I'm wearing this little blue shirt, right? That we got the what's up? What are the letters on the Y C. <sighs> blue shirt, little white tee, little silver chain, and then. Originally, I was going to wear this fit with, like, black jeans, right? But then I was like, wait a second. Let me throw on the cargos, right? Got the cargos with the J's. So it made it kind of, like, unique that I usually wouldn't do. I usually do, like... The black jeans. But I think it looked kind of cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so, all that to say, experiment. Throw some stuff together. You might be surprised. Like, oh, man. This kind of looks cool. So, I, as an artist, I think that fashion is so fun to mess around with. And it's a way to express your creativity. And also, it's a way to show that you put yourself together. And you're organized. And you care about presenting well so i try to do that and yeah I'm not saying every outfit is a hitter because it's not but most of the time i feel like i put on so yeah you see some more staples yeah a lot of my best fits honestly are like the simple ones where it's just like solid color t-shirt some jeans some cool kicks that's pretty much it so yeah what do you think you need Clothes wise, shirts. Mm. Like I don't have any shirts. Mm. Now, Gabe, Julia is kind of a fashion icon a little bit. What what kind of shirts do you think are the most drippy on her? Mm. I think I want to say it's just shirts in general. I would say she knows how to put on great layers, mm. like a nice T-shirt with a nice pullover. Mm -hmm. You know. Or a nice jacket to go over, pull over. Yeah. Combinations. Combination. Combination. But I don't care about fashion. Oh. I just good enough to look good enough. Ooh. Presentable. Well, we're talking about women's fashion now, like layers and stuff. What are you talking about? What are some cool, like, what are, like, the best, like, shirts, tops, layers that you like for women? Uh, I like flannels. Knitted material. Um, that's mainly like, you know, it's weather permitting, so that's mainly like yeah. fall, winter. Uh, in the summer, whatever makes you look sexy. I don't know. <laughs> what? I love I a good you. dress. Huh? I love a nice dress. Oh, okay. let's bring oh, back yeah. sundress season. Amen. Man. Yes. What happened to sundress season? I don't know. They got that out of here, man. All these. No, oh, that's true. I miss sundress season. Sundress is fire. Gabe, top three. Oh, which, what, what's something you guys want? Wait, what's this a good? It was your idea. Right. It could be anything. Okay, come up with it. Where's the ball? Top three athletes. So. Top three athletes mm -hmm. ever or yeah. currently? Ever. 
<sighs> you got to put Michael Jordan on there, obviously. You got to? You got to put do you Tom want Brady to? on there, probably. Do you got to or do you want let to? Him, let him cook. No, and Tom then Brady. Him. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Probably Serena Williams. Ooh, I was going to say Kobe, Serena, and I might, I might put uh, Brady in there, too. Yeah, my reasoning for that is now obviously Kobe Bryant, incredible athlete and man, of course. But R.I.P. Kobe Bryant ran because Michael Jordan walked. That's true. Michael Jordan made the blueprint for Kobe Bryant's career. Matter of fact, I take mine back. We're not gonna keep disrespecting Bron like this. Bron, Serena, Brady. That's my top three. I mean, I like LeBron a lot too. But that's, also, that's I think three. LeBron's career also roadmapped. Because of We're not talking about think, career. No, We're talking about athlete, his that's athletic whack. ability. Well, I'm, I'm saying as far as like just impact on the world and all that stuff. Like, now Bron is great. I put him top four athletes all time, probably. See, y'all, I still you're you're like you're like the hip hop heads that be talking about KRS One. Yeah, is like is like is like great just because he rapped in like the '80s. And it's like just because you were here first doesn't mean you can keep getting the credit for everyone that comes after you. Mm-hmm. I, I get that. I so, mean, I still so like Jordan no, listen, I'm sorry. I still like LeBron over Jordan as far as basketball. I'm just saying. I'm saying, saying as an athlete. athlete. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm going about? on from that. Uh, Tom Brady, I think, for obvious reasons. Yes. And Serena Williams because of her impact uh, as a female athlete. So, so hey, okay, let's talk about it. Serena Williams potentially is the greatest athlete of all time. That makes sense. I'm not mad about that. I concur. Just be just because tennis is not necessarily a sport that everyone like views to the highest regard, it is looked at differently. And unfortunately, because she's a woman, it's looked at differently. But being unbiased, I feel like she has a great compelling case mm. that she could be the greatest athlete of all time. Mm. Another great athlete in the track circles, Bruce Jenner. I mean, think and about it. And thank you for tuning in to the mutual friend. I am Matt. <laughs> <laughs> My top three athletes. Oh, you're right. You ain't good. Of all me. time. I got LeBron. I got Wilt Chamberlain. I got Serena Williams. I thought you were about to say LaMelo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Wilt. Yeah. Hey, Wilt, crazy. Have y'all heard some of the stuff he did, yeah. bro? Just like Helen Keller. He ran like a 4-4 four, four at 7-2. He was a long jumper. Man, dude dude had a vertical of like 45 specimen. And he had like sex with a thousand ladies. All right. The stamina is well, crazy. You for your uh, top three athletes. <laughs> stamina? Oh, my. I don't know. Okay. Are we doing song suggestions? Nah, no, skip. I'm getting. Skip. Skip. It's my turn. Skip. You told me it was my turn. Okay, are we ending now? It's my turn. This has been the mutual friend. I am Dre. That's crazy to me. It was, they were still in the same frame. I yes. thought they were going to say it. Oh. I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about him. Oh, okay. Why you They're in the same frame. Do you want us to go at the same time? Do you want to go last? No. So then so go after me. Yeah, yeah. I and will. then go to Gabe, and then I'll okay. right. close. Hey, wait, make wait. Sure you talk about wait, wait. Throw the ball at the end. Okay. No, you do that. You say that before you say. Forget the ball. I'm. <laughs> the right down there. Say that before. <laughs> say that before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the boy got hit from the back. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. You say, you say all this. I am. I, I got it. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you Ugh. like this video, make sure that you subscribe. You like this video, comment, share, all the stuff. Make sure that you help us grow the channel so we can impact more people. And if you feel so led, hey, we got to go fund me. Make sure you go fund us, the mutual friend, uh, go fund me. Okay, so this has been the. Mutual friend, I'm Dre. I'm Gabe. I'm Gabe. And I'm Matt. <laughs>